Hello everybody and welcome back to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler and on today's episode we return to Dishonored uh, for what will be its final video. If you remember in the last one, we'd just been imprisoned while well, we escaped out of there, no problem. Uh, unlike this poor fella down here. Now, this as I mentioned, is going to be the last video for the Dishonored game, so it might be a little bit longer. It's also going to be a bit of a strange one. And the reason it's going to be a bit of a strange one, uh, I messed up, basically. I finished it already. I did the playthrough, edited it all together, and I think I uploaded it, but I think there was a problem with the upload, which I didn't pick up on. And so I deleted the footage from my computer and lost it all. So I've had to reinstall the game, and I'm now having to play through it again so that I can upload the finished footage. So, like I said, it might be a bit of a weird one because it's going to be a little bit fresher in my mind. Hopefully it'll go quite smooth. But we shall see how it turns out. And as you can tell, that wasn't the greatest of starts, but I really just want to crack on. So, our first goal is to reach... Um, our gear. We don't need to do that, but that's what I want to do. Now, finding our way into here took me ages last time. Now, again, because I've already finished it, I remember exactly ow, uh, where I went wrong. And it was as simple as one, two, three. That literally took me about an hour the first time through. Okay, so we finally found our way back to where our tools were dumped, so let's get them back. Now, this was another bit that took me a very long time because I kept forgetting how to use chains and kept falling to my death because of all the weepers. But uh, not today. So, we're going to utilize our bend time ability. Quickly grab our stuff. And then climb our way to safety before they can even react. Look at that. That's how I wanted to do it the very first time and I failed miserably every single time. Of course then I also have the trouble grabbing this next chain so let's not pat my back too soon. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay. And there we go. So we got a problem with one of the chains. We'll manage. We'll we'll figure it out. Keep pressing the wrong button to crouch though. There we go. Perfect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you assassin like a boss. Although I didn't actually kill anybody. It's not the point. Now I completely forgot about these plant things. But again. Obviously, I know about them now because I've done it all. Oh, sh just like I know that there's all these uh, unfortunate bodies right here. And watch this guy's shadow. Let's see if it does it. Yeah. Tisk tisk. Poor game development. I'm kidding. This game's fantastic. I'm not going to fault it on a little thing like that. No. What was up with his head just then? That's weird. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, there it is again. What are you doing? Can't believe it actually on my first playthrough I actually missed this. I went through the roof for some reason. Weird. Absolutely flawless. So we are close to Dowd, and as such, I don't need to hold back my powers. Whew. 
Okay, that worked out nicely. For your next trial, you must move unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Yeah, After good luck with that. Of the room, okay. I say, the first time I played this through, I was a little bit more stealthy. Not that this wasn't stealthy, but uh, more finesse then, shall we say. He will come to me. He'll have to. Oh, you have no idea. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. That's why I'm not killing this guy, because he regrets his actions. Look at that, that was pretty damn flawless, you gotta admit, right? Right? Yeah, it was. I'm awesome. Honest to God, this took me about an hour to find last time this one chain. Now, we head back and get our revenge. Like thing, whatever you want to call it, right ahead of us here. But I managed to do this for the same way I'm doing it this time. But not like that. Ah. Take two. Hopefully, this will go a bit smoother. And I just step straight through. Jobs are good. So yes, in that last section, uh, there was a chance to encounter Granny Rags again, where she tries to uh, mm, sacrifice one of the gangsters, and you can choose whether to side with her or not. Obviously, I'm not bothering that. This is more of a speed run now, just to get the thing finished. Please, no. Oh, it's you, Corvo. Yes. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed, except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survive. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. So because I messed up with the video, as I've already mentioned, I'm kind of like not being as cautious as I usually am, so this is more of a speedrun almost. And as such, I'm going to do some reckless things, such as this. Is that more? Flawless, look at that. You gotta admit, this game's pretty cool for doing stuff like that. Oh, dude. You look like you're just chilling. Take that. One of the things I love about this game is its range of options as to how to complete missions, who you want to spare, etc. And uh, one of the options I had was to either kill everybody or knock them unconscious. And of course, because we're playing a non-lethal playthrough, we're knocking them all unconscious. And it's just such a brilliant feature. I'm really looking forward to later games and see how uh, how they keep up this trend. I'll let them uh, just suck one another off, congratulate themselves. Whilst I go make my escape, and move on to the very, very, very final mission. So here we have it guys, on to the very final mission, and really we should be done in no time. Give my best to Emily. After she's on so here phone, we can see uh, low chaos, as you saw there on the uh, little description of the mission. So there we have it guys, we've got the low chaos final mission. Uh, which basically means if we'd have gone through killing indiscriminately, like I did on my very first playthrough, uh, we'd have the high chaos, which would mean, for one, we'd be set at night time, uh, and the loyalists would be all fighting amongst themselves, and then we'd have to just kill them all one by one. Uh, which, again, fairly easy, because all you do is just spam the uh, rat, rat plague 
But of course, we got low chaos because all we did was kill targets. Uh, which will mean, again, I was hoping it might be different with just killing chaos, uh, targets. I hope we get, might get um, like medium chaos or whatnot, but we didn't. Uh, we, it will mean that basically Havelock uh, betrays the Loyalists and we then have to deal with him and we've got two ways of doing it we can either take him out ourselves or we can let him take himself out okay so things are a little bit different for me this time because I actually took the other route so I'm a little bit lost as to where I'm going which is good Makes it more of an interesting challenge. Plague. Elixir. Bunch of crap. Okay, that worked out really well, actually. We end up uh, pretty much the same spot, so I'm going to use the same tactic I used last time, which is basically a hope and a prayer. Run. We just run and hope we get to the top of the stairs before my possession runs out. Hey, you don't look out my so way. Good. Shut up, out of the way. I am gonna do it. I'm gonna make it. I am absolutely 100% gonna make this. Get in there, Corvo. I got it. Hey. I got you. Where am I? Uh oh. And just like that, we're off to find Emily. Perfect, flawless. Ignoring all the times that I failed. So, because we are literally at the last stretch of the game, all finesse is going out the window. Because there's no real threat anymore. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. What is this guy doing? Make up your mind. Nothing can stop me now. Okay, so we're finally here. And that yet again, he has killed everybody and left himself to rule. Now, what I did last time is I went straight down there and I killed him. But I'm not going to do that this time. I am actually going to rescue Emily first and see if that affects anything. Always too sure that would that? Admiral Havlock? Too short. Corvo! I knew you'd come. So let's see what happens if we uh, don't okay kill now? Havelock first. Will I be Empress? God, you're so greedy for Empress. Oh. So it actually completely ignores the fact that I didn't even kill Havelock. I'm curious if that'll make an end into this uh, final cutscene. So we'll... Um, We'll just watch a little bit of that, and then um, we'll continue with my rambling. So ends the interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age, brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. Long enough for all of the big and the small world, that's all that they stand Okay then guys, there we have it. Dishonored. Uh, the definitive edition has been finished. There are some DLCs, but I'm not going to bother with those because uh, I really want to move on to the next game. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this playthrough. I absolutely loved it. I want to apologize one more time for maybe the weird quality of this video. It's difficult to tell when I'm recording it, how it's going to come out until I actually start editing it. But I feel like it was a little bit rushed, but that's just because uh, of the mess up of accidentally not uploading a video and then deleting it before it was done. So my own stupidity. Anyway, the next uh, series will be Dishonored 2. And in that game, you get to play as either Corvo or Emily. 
Now, I'm more inclined to play as Emily because Corvo's powers are exactly the same, I believe, where Emily's are all brand new. But I want you guys to let me know who you'd rather I play as, Corvo or Emily. And also, how do you want me to play the game? Do you want me to play killing no targets, killing everyone in my way, or killing just targets like this one? My personal preference on that would be kill nobody because I think it's a little bit more interesting, a little bit more challenging. But let me know what you, uh, you, what you want me to do because, again, I do this channel for everybody, not just for me. That being said, thanks again guys for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next episode.